DJ feature from Feature Press LLC. No, that is not my Sony 24 millimeter G Master 1.4 lens. That is actually my Sony FX3. I had to send it in for repair. Now, about a year and a half ago, I had fried my Sony FX3 and that was covered under the Sony warranty because it was within that one year uh, bracket. I believe they give you a one year warranty. Uh, that was covered. Um, it took about three weeks or so for me to get the camera back in my hand and it was they did a great job fixing it. So here we are present day. Um, I had another issue. Now I'm not sure why I keep making these silly, I wouldn't call it errors or maybe just a mistake. You know, I, I didn't know. I mean, I didn't know that you can't use a Q-tip to clean your camera sensor. Maybe I'm the only one in the history of mankind to do this. Um, hopefully so, you know, because I don't want this happening to anyone else. But we're going to talk about the uh, repair process. And uh, I'm really a big fan of the Assurian uh, protection plan that I purchased. Now I had to got this camera from Amazon and I just decided that I would get that extra protection. You know, God forbid if something happened and lo and behold, it did. But, you know. That's the one thing that you guys, please, whatever you do, just do not clean your camera sensor with a Q-tip. Now, if you need to clean your camera sensor, you can start the process with something real simple as this. All this is is uh, air in a little balloon or whatever, and uh, you wanna hold your camera upside down, just squeeze that, and all of the debris will fall right out of the camera. Now, if you need to take it a step above, you can get a specific kit for cleaning your camera sensor. It comes with some solution and a little brush, but it's a special brush, you know, not a Q-tip, but you know, I didn't know that. So what I did, I had recently got a package and some extra accessories came along, which was a lens cleaning kit. So I took a little of that solution, put it on the Q-tip swab and kind of, you know, went along the perimeter of the camera sensor and it just scratched it at first i thought it was just some moisture but no it was definitely scratches now while the camera still did work i didn't notice any um, defects whatsoever i just figured it would be a good time to see if my warranty can cover that because i didn't know if that would do any damage long term my guess would be maybe and so i did contact the Shurian right through Amazon, right through the app. And I was forthcoming with them and let them know that, you know, the sensor was scratched and they did indicate that they would repair it. And it came at no extra cost only because I had that extra, I think I got a two year warranty. It could have went three, should have went three, but I think I went two. But this is just kind of a tip for you guys. When you spend all of this money on, whether it be a camera or any accessories, lenses, Make sure you go the extra distance, spend a couple of extra bucks and get that extended warranty. Because in this case, the Assurian uh, warranty or protection plan, whatever you want to call it, was awesome. Now, believe it or not, I had my camera shipped out, shipped back to me, back in hand within about a week. So I want to say it was about seven days total. The whole process, I got the camera back. It was packaged back well it had bubble wrap foam and you know he gave me an invoice indicating that my camera was repaired a brand new sensor it looks nice and clean you would have never known that i had that issue but you know it's just something a food, food for thought you know i'm not sure why i keep making these errors but you know thank god i do have the protection plan so i guess i'll just keep buying them uh, just in case something happens you know just food for thought just make sure that you always have that plan because something will happen, maybe not as drastic, but something will happen. And it just gives you peace of mind when you're out there, you know, in the field, something can always happen to your camera or accessories. And we pay a lot for these things. So guys, that's pretty much all I have today. Now, if you want to know the step-by-step -step process on how to send your camera in for repair, I did write a blog. I will post it in the link below. You guys can check that out. And please feel free to share your experiences as long as they're not too embarrassing if you want to share and other tips that you may have. 
because we're a community and we would like to learn and we're constantly trying to get better as filmmakers. So that's pretty much it. I will talk to you guys on the next video. Peace.